Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Our food truck week continues. And so we are seeing just the amount of ideas and people that are coming out with these great ideas. Something, though, that you came up with almost three years ago. You've been in business for, for, for a while and one of the first trucks that we saw here in the city. Yeah. So it's wonderful to have uh, Jacqueline Jolliffe back from the Stone Soup Food Works. So great to have you back on the show. Really nice to be here. And I have to ask you, it, has it been encouraging for you to see so many other trucks coming in and kind of the city branching out to allow so many more to kind of make their way to the city? Yeah, it's absolutely great. It's great to be developing a community and it's really nice because we are developing a community like we're not battling together we're working together to kind of bring the whole mm -hmm. image up and we've met once and it's, it's really fantastic I mean it, there's like a, a nice competition in terms of that you want others to do well and you want yeah. people to kind of just get into the whole like the world of food trucks that, yeah. that, it's, that yeah. it's an option for people yeah and it's and it's really creative it's really great to see what other people are doing and it's really great to uh, it's really great to have people to connect with and talk about you know the the weird issues that you have working in a food truck right like like we're room, so weather or, dependent, like yes, space, yes. like like uh, your water system freezing in the winter because you're essentially mm -hmm. outdoors. Like it being cold and having lower sales, or it being pouring rain and you basically have no sales, and and all of these things. It's really it's it's like. And then all of the challenges, like when you just get slammed, and right? And and how and how you fit people in here, people and in where here. your staff are to be able to do yeah, it. How you modify things, how you change things. Like, yeah, it's it's really nice to have community to talk with now. Well, it's it's wonderful to see your product still. Is it you kind of always coming up with ideas? Yeah. Always kind of have to stay on top of yeah. things. Yeah, it's always changing. And this is actually, what are you doing today? What I'm doing today is just this is something that I actually just developed. I just started doing. Um, I did it once last summer, and then I did it this weekend, and then this Saturday we're at the Hintonburg Arts Park, okay. and so we're going to be there. We're going to be there fairly early, and so I've started doing like little breakfast burritos. Oh wow! So they're super fast and super delicious. And today I'm doing a vegetarian one. This is just a couple eggs. They're actually from my friend's farm. I, I usually use Vikings eggs, but mm -hmm. our local produce. These are from my friend's farm. It's just eggs, a touch of cream, and a bit of salt. And then I have um. A nice asparagus, cremini mushroom, and a red pepper mixture here. Yeah. Show the camera there. And it's kind of hard to squeeze in, eh? And then asparagus is really nice at this time of year. I'm seeing them right now. They're like those nice big, the big, fat. big ones are out. Yeah, yeah I know. Like <laughs> yeah. The big fat ones. yeah, the big fat ones I know, are out. Like the tender, the small ones are nice, but I find the big ones to be a bit more tender. So I'm just going. That's okay, just, it. Okay, right now it is a hundred degrees. Well, in here. that's because so I don't now, have a like, hood on. So normally you would be because I'm. I'm assuming you know in plus you know thirty degree weather this yeah. has got to be uh, a challenge. Well, what happens at that point is that uh, we don't do a lot of cooking inside in the summer. So we do some of our tortillas. We we sort of do stuff like a bit outside, yeah. and we try to keep it a lower temperature in here. So I'm going. Okay, turn now you did down. mention that you're at the Hintonburg Park. Yeah, uh, over the weekend, the weekend. And, and Arts Park. So how do people find you? Like, how do they know where you're going to be or, you know, what's up on the menu, that kind of thing? So we're most, the, we have two main ways. Uh, mm -hmm. Twitter, at Stone yes. Soup Truck. That's our best. We're, we tweet every day, a few times a day, usually. Where you're at and what you're where cooking. Where we're at, what we got on the menu. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and that's our best way. And then we're also on Facebook. So in Facebook, at Stone and Soup Truck. And, um... And are you getting the response from someone to say, listen, I checked for you on Twitter this morning. I knew you were near me yeah, and I absolutely. made my way over. Absolutely. And there's also this new street food app that's being used yes. a lot. And that's also going great. So, uh, oh my gosh, look at this. So everything just piled in there. Yeah, everything piled in there. And then we're going to fold it. We're going to pop right, it you in. Want me, you want me to, here, I, I can try to move. Hold on. We'll, we'll squeeze our way Let's through here. Do a quick worm there. Look, look. There, got it better. Okay, yeah. Nice there and there. And then I have a little bit of this homemade, uh, this is a nice mild red salsa. That looks awesome. Yeah, and it's just um, some organic tomatoes, it, some peppers, and this is my uh, tomatillo salsa. I've run out of tomatillos from last year and have been reduced to. <laughs> I try to use everything locally as much as possible. Well, especially too, if, you, if you've got, you're going to a friend's farm to get your eggs, you know, yeah, you realize know, that that's happening. Well, she brought them to me, it was uh, kind of nice. Well, Look at that. Go. So nice little breakfast burrito. And, and then I do off breakfast go. this morning because I don't, I like to eat breakfast in the morning. Hey, it's breakfast well, for it's us. Breakfast it's awesome. Morning. You know what? At this point, it's lunch for us as well. So yeah, I'm I guess for you guys. Yeah, like. I've got dibs. I'm going to dig in. I want to try a okay, bite of that. That looks fantastic. Okay. So here, food we truck week you continues. <laughs> uh, you saw, we saw how this looks. Uh, Stone Soup uh, Food Works. You can see the truck. And so honestly, best bet is to follow them on Twitter. Follow and then you'll know exactly where they are every day and what's on the menu. And I love this whole, I love this whole family of trucks. I know. It's so cool. It's so fun. Congratulations. I think we have the littlest truck. 
well, entirely yeah, I think, possible. But... I think you've done a great job. I, I mean, it. everything's Can in here. Sweet pea. Sweet pea? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we have to leave Sweet Pea um, yes. right now. Well, I got, we're going to figure coming. out how to get back out of here. Yeah. Uh, and we've got today's the day coming your way up after the break and plenty more to come here on CTV Morning Live.